Hi, I'm Joy Carpine Casanti with the Washington State Department of Transportation, and I'm here today at the eastern end of the 520 floating bridge in Medina. And I'm here with Robin Boyd, who is the construction project engineer for the floating bridge and landings project. Robin, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here today? Sure, Joy. So the existing 520 bridge is vulnerable to storms and earthquakes. With this operation, we we're building a new floating bridge to replace the existing structure. The new bridge will accommodate 89 mile per hour winds and be designed up to the current earthquake standards. The old bridge uh, also has a mid-span opening that uh, will actually go away with the new structure. We'll no longer need that. We'll be able to uh, accommodate sailboats and boats up to 70 feet high. Uh, currently the same design standards as the I-90 bridge. By building the, the new bridge to the north, we don't affect traffic on the existing bridge, so we can provide you know, a, a free flowing corridor through the project. Um, what you see today is segmental bridge construction. Um, we are working on the eastbound structure right now. We have about one quarter of the eastbound structure complete. We also see some of the uh, pontoons out in the lake, uh, pontoon A and W plus uh, pontoons U and V. They also have some of the supplemental pontoons which are smaller than the longitudinals. Pontoon A and pontoon W are currently over on the east end. You also see some of the pier work going on. This east approach has three piers. Uh, what you see out here is just a portion of what we've actually accomplished since the start of the project in 2012. Um, most of the work that we've done is actually underwater. And we've completed all the anchors for the project. They're all sitting on the lake bottom right now waiting for pontoons to be floated in and connected up. We've built three staging areas to store pontoons and to uh, outfit them. In the next couple months we have a lot of construction going on. We will finish the first half of the eastbound bridge structure. We'll disassemble the blue form travelers and we'll move it over to Pier 1 which is on the eastbound structure approximately 300 feet away. Also, during this time, we'll be bringing in more supplementals to join to the longitudinal pontoons that we have on the lake, connecting up some of the longitudinal pontoons together to start the, the backbone of our project. So one of the other unique aspects of this project is that it's not only being built here in Medina or on the lake. We have three other locations where we're having uh, construction being completed for this project. We're currently producing some of the supplemental pontoons, the smaller pontoons at CTC in Tacoma. The larger pontoons are being built by another contract in Aberdeen. And then for some of the construction, we're currently having that being produced at the Kenmore site. The work at Kenmore will consist mainly of the anchor production, which we've already completed, and we will then progress into building uh, the low rise panels for the floating bridge itself. Thanks again for joining us and stay tuned for more updates as the project moves forward.